afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here. Um, I'm very honored uh, to be here among this distinguished group of, of leaders and, and panels that you're here from today. This is such an important um, issue for all of our uh, communities, and I think uh, you'll hear everybody talking about different approaches to this issue, but the Bottom line is we're talking about a political, moral, and an economic imperative today when we're talking about access to health care for children uh, in this country. At the National Council of La Raza, we believe that the year 2009 presents an unprecedented opportunity to reform our health care system. In the Latino community, uh, where one in three individuals is uninsured and many more are disconnected from the health care system, we know that the challenges of this issue require meaningful partnership. In partnership, we can work toward covering every person in the United States, including the country's children and pregnant women. Today, NCLR stands with our partners at the NAACP, the National Congress of American Indians, the Asian American Justice Center, and the Children's Defense Fund uh, to declare that we have a responsibility to our children and to the future of this country in this healthcare reform debate. And I want to give special thanks to the leadership of Mary Wright Elliman and the Children's Defense Institute for really working together with everyone. So Mary and I know you have a long record of history of advocacy for our children and we're pleased and proud to stand with you today. Over the three years, this nation, uh, and over the last years, a few years, this nation has not met its responsibility and has hindered children's ability to grow and prosper. We can and must do better for the children of this country. And let's just take a, a small look at health care in this country. You know, we recognize that every child should have the opportunity to develop, grow, and learn. That should be essential and basic in, in this country. However, 2.5 million children, or 12.6% of the United States, miss 11 days or more of school per year due to an illness or injury. That is at least two weeks of missed educational engagement right off the bat. The other principle which we adhere to is that every child should have access uh, to needed health care. Sadly, uh, more than one in five U.S. children, or 22.5%, did not have one single preventative health care visit in a year. How are we supposed to prevent unnecessary illness and disease in children when 12 million or more children each year do not go to the doctor? Last summer in 2008, NCLR highlighted some of the health coverage trends for Latino and other American children in our report, report titled, A Burden No Child Should Bear. I know some of these copies are available, if not, let us know. But in this report, we discovered some very disconcerting holes in our system that leave millions of children uncovered. In it, we describe in particular that many working families, particularly Latino families, cannot get health coverage through their employers, and it is especially difficult to cover children. Even more families face substantial barriers to public programs. And children of color are plagued by inequities in the system that keep them disconnected from important programs. These barriers frequently are linguistic and cultural, and often even the product of outright discrimination built into the system. The holes in the system cannot be filled by the current patchwork of programs and policy that are ill-designed for children. We're going to require some intentional uh, strategies when we look at this issue. Far too long, children and their families have suffered because this country has failed to provide a basic need, access to affordable quality health care. The health care system must be changed to address the deep-seated inequities that threaten to hold back this generation of children by allowing illnesses that could have been prevented, and in the worst cases, allowing oftentimes premature death. The principles that we ask you to consider today to cover all children and pregnant women and would make necessary reform a reality in 2009. First, this partnership asks Congress to provide health coverage that is affordable for all children. The system must provide access to fairly priced health coverage with sliding scale fees based on income. We further believe that children and pregnant women under 300% of poverty threshold should have complete access to health care coverage. Second, we believe that this coverage must be high quality and include comprehensive benefits. It's not enough to say 
that we have simply covered everyone in the U.S. We must get this right the first time. So we so that we finally begin to remedy the poor access and poor quality that exists within our system. Children must have access to benefits that are age appropriate and ensure that they receive the services that promote optimal health. Finally, we have to eliminate the needless paperwork and bureaucratic processes that have been burdensome barriers to health care coverage for children. Our system needs to ensure <coughs> automatic enrollment into health care programs that keep children continuously covered without issue. At NCLR, we know that shaping health care reform for children and pregnant women will be critical for the long-term future. More than one in three Latinos is a child under the age of 18. Too many of our children are at risk because of high rates of uninsurance and poor access to health care. In closing, we have come together to ask Congress to support these three simple principles an affordable, high quality, and easy to access health care system because we believe that they will open the door to health coverage for all children and pregnant women. To fix the inequities that characterize our health care coverage system is to make a critical investment in the health and development of America's future. This is why we pledge to work together with the groups at this table and hope to work with many of you in this room to make health care uh, for everyone uh, possible, including children and pregnant women. Uh, thank you, and we look forward to working with each and every one here today, and we hope that we will see the sense of urgency on this issue that we are all here firmly committed to. Thank you very much.